Hi guys, welcome back to another video in the Pico 4 Ultra. And in this video I want to cover my own personal use case of cloud streaming, both PC and console. So while I can do all of the crazy VR stuff and experiments of capture cards and running things natively on the headset, sometimes it's just easier and much, much more simple to look to a cloud streaming solution. So there's many that you can choose from. My personal recommendations are GeForce Now, which is available on the Pico Store as an actual Android APK application, and I'll explain why that's important in a second. Um, the Xbox Game Pass, again, if you can get the Xbox application from a raw store, um, APK Pure, any, anywhere you source your Android APKs, grab that, install it into a headset, you're good to go. If you've got your Game Pass set up there, that is only a controller. And also Amazon Luna. You can use Amazon Luna if you source the APK that is meant for the Fire Tablet. So avoid the Fire TV, get the Fire Tablet version. This isn't available on a raw store or APK Pure or anything like that. You need to actually hunt down the, uh, the Android APK for this, for the Fire Tablet. And then this will work. Um, and again, this is only going to support Bluetooth controllers and stuff. So they're two excellent solutions, but my own personal favorite is GeForce Now. So there's been a bit of a, a weird reception to this. It had a little bit of fanfare that it was officially coming to XR headsets like the Quest 3 and Picos, and then it just went dead. Um, there's obviously been a little bit of coverage sort of showing off. You can play your games anywhere and have the windows floating all around. That's great. That's exactly how it's supposed to be used instead of a boring small TV, you can have a massive screen. But to me, um, when I tried this, only the Pico works with a mouse and keyboard um, because it's an actual application that can hook into mouse and keyboard inputs. So in the OS, if I just move my mouse here, this is a mouse that's controlling much like a controller laser pointer. You click anywhere, you type anywhere. That's cool. In GeForce Now on the Pico, when it launches into the actual PC, the cloud PC that you're using, you then get full mouse and keyboard support like you would on a PC. And the reason I like this solution is because GeForce Now is taking all of my existing PC library from Steam, GOG, Epic, everywhere, um, and just giving me these games to play without any need to install um, have my PC linked with the, the files on it, any graphics configuration, everything's just taken care of. Obviously, you do pay for this. Um, it is going to cost a bit of money for the performance basic profile or the ultimate. And to be honest, you won't really need the ultimate given the pixel density um, in a VR headset like this. Um, there's no point having 4K, 240 FPS. There's no point. It looks really good on the performance. Um, and you get all the benefits of ray tracing and stuff anyway. So if I just launch into any application on this, this is just using the normal mouse and keyboard in the Pico. Um, and when it hooks into the actual PC side, that then becomes an actual mouse cursor. So I'm going to move the cursor up to the corner here, which again, I could resize the screen if I really want to right now. I'm just going to leave it comfortably for me. And again, could bring that closer, I could distance it away. Um, with the new Pico update. But the only downside is, if you watch where that cursor is going right now, if I click in the corner, it leaves that little um, OS reticle in the corner. So a bit buggy um, in that regard for how Pico handles that, that cursor inputs. But now all of the mouse and keyboard is the PC. Um, it's just one of those things you have to be aware of if you're having that little reticle anywhere on the screen before this ticks over um, it's going to be stuck where it is and you can use your controller to wake your controller up and move it but if you use a mouse and keyboard the controllers go into sleep state they don't get in the way it doesn't bug out it doesn't fly across your vision and stuff so um, this is pretty pretty damn sweet so I'm not going to obviously play all the games here and bore everyone to death just I can do it in the main menu you can just see right now the, the mouse is working exactly as it's supposed to contained within the screen, all of the keys work exactly as it's supposed to, so I can just play whatever games I want um, based on uh, proper mouse and keyboard support. So, with that one covered, I want to cover Amazon Luna, 
and how this is working because again while GeForce Now is excellent it is costing more money and you need all of your existing games um, tied to GeForce Now so there's no freebies as such you will get a few demos but there's no freebies so for the cheap people like me I didn't even realize I had Luna for many 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 years <laughs> I've been paying for Prime um, this is part of Amazon Prime so there is Luna Plus, which gives you actual games. But um, if anyone's paying for Amazon Prime at the moment, if you've not been claiming your monthly games, I feel so sorry for you. I, I missed out loads personally as well. Um, but Amazon always give away free games every month for anyone that's got a, a basic Prime membership. Um, and then Amazon Luna can hook into different stores that you've obviously got your free games from. Um, and be able to use them. So if I just go to library and uh, hopefully be able to categorize by source. So Prime Gaming gives away a few things. It's mainly Epic ties, tie-ins and stuff. Um, but yeah, you've got Epic Games and you've got GOG. Um, it's, it's amazing. I've not paid for any of these. I don't know um, how many I've missed in the grand scheme of things, but all of these games are part of the Amazon Prime that I've already been paying for. Um, and I've not paid anything extra to get these going or need to pay to um, be able to jump a queue and get a, a cloud system ready for me. This It just works. Um, but this is controller-based. So for this, I would need to use a Bluetooth controller. I personally just use an Xbox Bluetooth controller, um, and that will then just react exactly as it would if you were doing this on your phone um, and just launch into basically this is going to be a... Um, Ubisoft one, I'll avoid the Ubisoft one. I'll just go for something on Epic, um, Fortnite or whatever. Um, it all just works. So for these, um, yeah, low latency video, don't need that. For these um, controller supported ones, um, the mouse and keyboard will just go back to operating the, the OS. It won't go into the window that you want to control for your game. So unfortunately I can't play Fortnite with the mouse and keyboard. Um, Amazon Luna only supports mouse and keyboard on the, the PC um, desktop streamer. So unless you're using a Windows PC, you can't use mouse and keyboard. That's pretty much the same for the um, Xbox Game Pass. There's apparently about 25, 30 games that are supported with a mouse and keyboard. Um, but again, you need to use a Windows PC desktop browser to get the mouse and keyboard support in there. Not sure how that is with Quest, given that they use a web-based browser setup. I'll have to test that. But if you're interested in mouse and keyboard gaming on the go, um, either go the Winlater route that I've been showing in previous videos and running things native on the headset at absolute potato resolution, potato specs, or do cloud streaming with GeForce Now and have an RTX machine for about £10 a month. Um, if you've not got a gaming PC already and have a built-up library, then that's cool. That's a pretty cheap way to do it without buy buying a PC and carrying that around with you. But there is sort of free trials you can try. I believe Pico were giving away a um, timed sort of trial for anyone that wish wishlisted the GeForce Now on the Pico store. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. I'm not affiliated with Pico. I'm not doing any promotions or anything. Um, just saying that if, if you did have it wish listed, um, at some point they will be giving you a free trial for the the tier uh, tier above what I'm paying on um, GeForce Now, which is pretty cool. Um, but like I said, £10 a month, again, saves me having to always carry around Steam Deck, always have everything installed on my PC, and even being on the local network um, if I'm out and about on train up whatever I can actually get away with a, a data connection a 5G hotspot into the headset and all of this works amazingly so while it is a bit goofy having a mouse and keyboard I'm pretty happy with these setup it's not perfect it's not a gaming mouse it's not definitely not a gaming keyboard but um, for general use in GeForce Now it's absolutely fine for everything else I've got the controllers and again these will all just work if I just get out of wherever this is I hate Fortnite, go away with promotions and I don't know. It's a good time to end the video while I don't have to go through all these loot boxes and crap. So, yeah, if you've not checked out Cloud Gaming on Pico, definitely give it a go. Um, same with the Quest 3. The only, the only difference is Quest 3 is mainly web based browsers, so it won't have a dedicated APK. All of these are APKs. The Amazon Luna one, again, 
have to be the Fire Tablet APK. Xbox is from a raw store, APK Pure, wherever you want to get it. And then the GeForce Now is from the actual Pico store. So they're all Android applications. They all work as an Android application with a controller. Everything's as you expect. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.